As I said, we've got two shows over the weekend. One from Las Vegas, that's uh, the Mayweather one, Mayweather show, and the first one coming to you will be from Jordan. Now remember, George Grove was meant to be on this, fighting Robert Stieglitz for the WBO Super Middleweight title, but instead, there is a boy born in London on the bill, on the bill. Streatham's very own Ola Afalavi. He'll be fighting Captain Hook. It's the second time they've met, and Afalabi's been waiting a decent time to try and get revenge for a decision from a couple of years ago. And I'm delighted to say that we can welcome to the show, making his Box Nation debut, Ola Afalabi. Good evening, Ola. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you this evening? I'm good, you know, just shaking off the, the nerves of the last week, ready to go on Saturday. Do you get nervous, Ola? Are you one of those fighters that gets nervous? Oh, yeah. I, every fighter should get nervous. If they don't get nervous, I'll be worried. You know, it's part of the job. You always get in there. You know, it's boxing. You can get take. You can get taken out by one punch, so you just have to you have to weigh in everything and think about everything. And when the bell goes off, the nerves get shaken off, and you just fight. Now, now you, you've been in with Huck before. Uh, you lost. Uh, it was tight. It was tight enough. Since then, he's made a few more defenses and then moved up to fight for the world heavyweight title. Didn't gain that much weight, but did gain some weight. And, and now he's coming down and fighting you um, immediately after that Povetkin fight. Do you think that's a risky move by Captain Huck? Well, I think I think he just had no choice. You know, I mean, he fought a small, lazy heavyweight and he lost. There's no other heavyweight for him to fight except Beckham because they're in the same Sourland team together. Mm -hmm. So he had the only one move to make, and that's to come back as a cruiserweight. So, 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 yeah, so it, it was either that or don't fight for a while. Now, also, were you, were you surprised that you got the call? I mean, that was 2009 you fought him. You've been looking for a rematch since. Now you've finally got it. Were you shocked that you actually got the call? Well, you know... I was more shocked that he came back as a cruiserweight, you know, because we, we were man, we were, we were mandatory, so we, he had no choice but to fight us. Mm. When he said he was coming to cruiserweight, that's what shocked me, not that he would fight me. Another thing they threw me off is he took the fight so quick after the Povetkin yeah. fight. I would think he would wait about, you know, 90 days or so, or two, three months before taking the fight, but he just, he, they called us the next week and said, we're going to fight Ola. And I was like, wow, okay, let's do it. Now, Ola, have you been trying to get a fight with one of the other champions since, you, since your loss uh, to, to, uh, to Marco Hook? Have you been reaching out or have you been ignored? Because you are, you, know, you are in that situation, Ola, where people like to ignore you. You're a little bit too dangerous. You're a little, you know, you're a bit of a, you're a, bit of a, you're, you're a, bit of a secret, secret weapon. Yeah, you know, we just been we found one one belt that we really liked, which is the WBO, and we just fought our way up in the rankings. I'm going up in rankings and other belts, but WBO was just you know it seemed like it's the biggest in Europe right now. So and it made sense to go for that. And Marco Hook is hot right now, so if I can dethrone him. And we can go after the other belts. Now, also, there's another battle going on in this fight, not just between the two boxers in the ring, but between the two veteran corner men. You're with Fritz and he's with Uli. Now, this in Germany is a... It's like a, it's like a football derby, isn't it? Yeah, it's serious. It's like, uh, you know, it's like the two biggest boxing coaches in Germany probably in Europe going heads up and that's a pride thing because they have like a, a Fritz beat Uli once, Uli yeah. beat Fritz once so this is like, this is a nail biter so that kind of adds a little more pressure to me because I got to perform for Fritz yeah, well, let's, it his birthday. And, it, and it also adds pressure to Captain Hook because he's got to perform for Uli. Thankfully, all four of you are going to perform for us on Saturday night. Oh, now listen, thanks very much. And remember, if ever you're back here visiting any relations you've still got in South London, you're welcome back on this show. I welcomed you into my old show on Satanta, and you're welcome back on this show. Ola Afalabi, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. They're clapping your heart, Ola. They love you. That's the part of Saturday Night's show. <laughs> You've got to love Olo Afalabi. It's, it's true because he was born in Streatham, France. That's what I love about him. He's born in Streatham and he's kind of got some sort of mixed up, based in Germany yeah. and in Las Vegas accent. But